Hey guys, it's Lev here from Lev Room Gaming with another Bloons Tower Defense 6 video. I just finished recording a video with Pat Fusty. See if we could get past round 100, mainly using Pat for our pops. Now up to round 99, spoiler alert, incredible strategy. Round 100, he didn't have the pops that we needed purely because his range is too small. What I thought we'll do, same thing again, like that we did with Adora a couple months back. See if we can get a bit further. We've learned a bit since then. We know that Adora's ability can pop the purple balloons, and that was our downfall last time. So let's see how far we can get with Adora. I'll see you guys once I've picked the map, then we'll crack on. Alrighty, guys, I've decided to pick resort on hard purely because we have our sand pit sand pit's always dope for adora so let me swap our camera over let's get into the challenge so the same thing as always let me bring this up so this is the challenge rules we're going to let these get through so we've got enough money for adora blah 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 blah, blah. anyway where any map on hard any hero so if you guys want to do this with Geraldo, look, go for it. Today, we're just using Adora on hard. Right, now she's out. I can continue barbling on. So our allowed towers, we're allowed Ice Monkey, Glue Gunner, Sub, Alch Alchemist, Engineer, Village, and we have unlimited banana farms. So essentially, we're allowed towers that can stall but we're not allowed towers, not not allowed towers that can get any popped, but we want to see how far we can get with Adora. So, so Adora, we want to get that 90% plus amount of pops for the challenge to really let us know how strong the hero is. And luckily for us, Adora is ridiculously strong. And we know now that if we press our ability, that's going to get us through uh, our purple balloons round. And that's where we're having a lot of trouble last time. So as you play more, you get better. People leaving comments below, let, letting me know all this information, allowing me to make videos better for you guys. So if you do have awesome pieces of information like that, make sure you do leave it below in the comments because I do read them and I do appreciate them. Now, all of that being said, please like, subscribe, comment. I think that's everything to my YouTube channel. I appreciate it. We're going pretty quick. Uh, the other day I was at 200 subs. Now we're at almost 250. So that's, that's awesome. This is actually awesome. Let's put these umbrellas down so they don't get in our way. Should we put in the banana farmer? Maybe I'll just go bottom path banana farms this game. It's not a super economical map to have a banana farmer in, to be honest. And Adora is just, she just smokes all of these early rounds. That's a pretty sneaky tra tactic if, we, if you saw at the start there, just letting that first round run through, hitting our spikes, hitting our shield lives. And then you can just afford a round later, you can just afford Adora. So if you guys haven't done that, I'll let you have that one for free. Finishing these banana farms half decent is what I'm trying to do. We don't have any camo detection, which just means that we need to get that sub in. We need to get that sub for that camo detection. Oh, we use our ability here. Purple balloon's gone. Round 25. Oh, last time that was such a big pain in my butt. Now, where is our sub? Here it is. Pop our sub in there. 
let's get him submerged so he doesn't steal all of our pops. He only got 30 pops. We'll allow it. Adora just cracks on, just starts absolutely smoking these balloons by herself. I'm pretty sure if we time our ability right, probably just take down the Moab by herself as well. Use our ability here to take down those purple balloons. And what we'll do later on is we'll have a monkey village and then we'll get, I'll show you, get our monkey intelligence bureau. Then Adora can just take down those purples by herself and we're not going to have to sit and spam out abilities. Almost got our next banana farm, next marketplace. Let's just use our ability here. We're getting a little bit overrun here. All that means, do we leak? I mean, we got away pretty handy then. We'll get an alchemist in. just below Adora. Get her that extra popping power just before round 40. Allow her to hit more damage on our Moab. Strongly stimulant. That's why we early farm. Yeah, now she's stronger. Speed this through, come on. All I want is cash, cash money. Use her ability here. Well done. Yeah, providing she breaks it, I knew we were gonna be okay. Now, do we be greedy in the next 10 rounds? Cause there's no Moab's gonna come out in the next 10 rounds. We'll just use that to get a few more farms. I reckon that's the right play. As we can see, obviously, they're starting to, they're starting to break through. They're starting to loop around a few times, which is not really what we want, but it just means that we have to put something else in. Look, as soon as we use the Dora's ability though. Let's get in. Let's get in a village here. Make sure Adora's in range. Get that jungle drums. Get that grow blocker. Get the radar scanner. Probably the next upgrade. Probably not optimal to get this, but this is why. I'd just be, I think I'd feel safer if we got our intelligence bureau. Then I'm not going to worry about a bunch of uh, purple balloons leaking because that would uh, really annoy me, to be honest. A few more farms. Get this bottom one first. Beautiful. Round 50. There's our Moab. We, are oh, we took that down so much quicker. Just by having that alchemist there. We have eight farms. Now last game with Pat, eight farms didn't, I mean, I think we had six. It seemed like enough. It just seemed like we were always struggling for cash and we don't, we don't want to struggle for cash in a challenge like this, so. How many have we got now? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten should be plenty. We are favored. I mean, obviously, we haven't got our central markets yet, but I'm just trying to think do we have to build any more defenses or slows? Let's see, we have Moab. Moab's roughing around, so 
And that probably answers that question in yes. Let's put in a glue gunner. Make sure he has camo detection. Don't want him hidden range. I don't want him to get potion, so just there should be fine. Relentless glue, bigger globs. Put this this guy on strong. There we go, get our central market while it's blabbling on. We got a bunch of cash. It's not a bad thing. What we could actually do. Actually move our alchemist. Because if we move our alchemist. Probably not the best time to do this, but we can get an ice monkey in here. Snowstorm, larger radius refreeze. Then. Then we put our alchemist in. Use Adora's ability here. Hopefully we can take this down. We do. Got our snowstorm. Not that we need it. Perfect. So now, now we can build on the on the ice, so we can get closer to Adora. Level her up here. Now we've got our sun ability. Crazy strong ability. There you go. So now she can pop those purples. That's why we got that upgrade. Got a few more central markets in here. Use that sun ability. Look how it just clears up balloons. Now, what do we else we need? Obviously, we've got our glue gunner, our first glue gunner anyway. I think we can get, we'll get a second. We'll get a second glue gunner. I reckon we need something ASAP because they're starting to break through. Should we just upgrade Adora? Get a bunch of levels in her. Because if we just upgrade Adora, she's going to be absurdly strong. Maybe that's the play. What I might do is we'll leave Adora, we'll see how far the balloons get through and I'll keep getting our central market because well we have those abilities available. Oh, the sun ability, look at that, how much that does. The sun orb, insane. Well done. So we want to upgrade these farms as fast as we can, but then we also don't want to lose the game. So maybe if I have to get to the point where we're using our sun, then we'll make sure we'll upgrade a door rather than a farm. But at this stage, we've got four now, four central markets. And look how much money that brings in. That's why we're trying to do it now. Do we have any hope of hitting round 100 with a door? Have to get her you know, as close as we can to that. Well, we're gonna need to get our level 20 for sure. We know that. I reckon, I reckon we can we can sneak in another one for sure here. This guy is putting in some work, this ice monkey. 30k pops, a couple pops. It's a good map for the Ice Monkey. Yeah, so we're starting a league now. So what we'll do... We won't level her up now, because she's about to level up. 23k, I reckon we'll use the next upgrade on Adora. Get her to level... What's that, level 13? It is... I 
And now we should be safe to use this next lot of cash on our banana farm. Here's our son here. Adora's main ability isn't great at taking down Moabs, but her second ability is crazy good at taking down Moabs. Use that now. We got 500 lives. That's ridiculous. I reckon. Once again, I, I'm feeling safe. Like, so I'm feeling safe. I reckon we can get another banana farm here. Another banana central upgrade. Use a sun to take down the mob. There we go. Let's use her first ability so we don't get overwhelmed too early on. Use our second ability here because we're in a little bit of trouble. There we go. Round 76, we have to use our ability on round 76. Frost. Oof. We just made it. Round 76, a big round. Now we can definitely just finish off our... We finish off our last one here. We've only got one to go. We definitely want that before round 80. I pressed the wrong ability there, but... Should be okay. I mean, luckily, we actually had so many lives that I think if they did buzz us through on that round 76, I reckon we would have been able to tank it even. All right, 2k to go. This is a big round, but we do have our snowstorm if we need to slow them down. There we go. Now let's, let's try and get a couple levels in Adora here before we get our regular gameplay finished. Big round, round 78, we took it down eventually. Freeze them over. Might have to use both abilities. Upgrade Dora's level, get some more power and pops. 27,000. I reckon we'll aim for that straight away. Use our snowstorm here. Look at that. Level 16. Beautiful. Now, remembering, we still got call to arms. We've still got a few towers that we can actually buff up and put in to make Adora stronger again. Use these abilities here. We are favorite. Make sure we get through round 80. Use their big ability, takes them down. Alrighty, into free play. Let's do it. Come on, Adora, round 100. That's where we want it. Do we try and risk it and get one of these through our Monkey Central? The money you make out of the Monkey Central is absolutely absurd. But I don't know if we need to buff up Adora a little bit more before then. I mean, if we can get her somehow get Adora to level 20 in the next eight rounds. Imagine that. Have a level of 20 Adora for our 90s rounds that would make that a lot easier i mean we're not doing too bad round 83 we've almost got our monkey central it's such a big payoff if we can get it such a big payoff we've got it 17k on this one
44k. Watch how quickly this catches up. Alright, so we got... What we'll do is we'll power out the levels now for Adora. We'll power her levels out. Then we'll look at some other buffs. Probably the, the best like, buff that you can get is using Dora's first ability with uh, not call to arms, but the homeland defense ability. Use them both at the same time. That DPS is insane. She spits out like a billion red fire tentacles. Slow these guys down. So you can imagine how many of them she sends out when you double buff that attack speed. How many is this? This is made us 17,000 already. 47. This guy's 34. There's level 19 on Adora now. I think we made the right investment. 39,000. 49,000. See how much quick, how, how fast it catches it. And we have level 20 Adora now. And we beat before round 90. So we're going to have a maxed out Adora for the 90s. Oh, a sunball. So much damage at level 90. How insane is that? Now we can get we can get attack speed. We haven't even got our absolute zero yet. We haven't got our second glue gunner. We don't have our engineer. We don't have a perma brew. Oh, we have so many abilities. Alrighty, Adora is smoking now. Use that call to arms. Use those abilities. Man, that sun ability does so much damage now. We can sacrifice to her as well. And increase attack speed. 54, 55. Oh, look at that. Now that is spaghetti damage right there. So our Banana Central, uh, sorry, our Monkey Wall Street has already taken over the first bank that we built. So it's definitely worth the investment. Get a Perma Brew on Adora now. Then our next one is definitely our Homeland Defense. Round 92. Oh man, that sun ability. We're going to have to keep that in our back pocket. That does so much damage. Instantly takes down those DDTs. How many pops do we have on Adora? Almost a million. That number should skyrocket very shortly. Let's get our absolute zero here. We're starting to max out our towers now as well. Look at that spaghetti. The spaghetti damage. I told you, once you get the homeland defense, maxed out Adora. We're almost at the point where our next upgrade. Wow. He rips through those purple balloons. Our next upgrade might be our engineer. Here are the DDTs. Use our spaghetti combo. Instantly wipes the whole screen. Wowzers. Use our sun ability. Round 96. I reckon Adora should be able to smoke round 100. The amount of DPS she gets with that. Look, you get these red spaghettis. He does absurd damage. Alright, it's about time that we get this engineer out. Start the, start the overclock train. 
can't afford it just yet. What are our pops? 1.3 mil. You're a temporary, temporary boost. How much do we need? 113k. That's this double boost there. Absolutely shreds through everything. We've got, still got the sun up. We should have triple boosted her there. We'll use the double boost again. Oh, well. Oh, wow. Now we've got our ultra boost. Perfect timing. We'll triple, bo triple boost the door now. Bang, bang, bang. We use everything. Make sure we don't lose on our own 100. Oh, that attack speed is gnarly. There it is. Adora cracked round 100. Never in doubt. This is already a much better video than what I made last time. I should deserve a like, comment, subscribe from you guys. Only if you're enjoying it, though. If you're not enjoying it, then I totally understand. All right, got 70,000. Might have to use, as soon as we use Lodora's abilities, just whatever's on the screen just cease to be on the screen anymore. What's our attack speed at? Five. Man, that spaghetti damage is absolutely mental. We have another 100,000. But I don't think there's anything else that we can get. Look how quickly she takes them down. What are our pops at? 2.8 million. Now we're in trouble. But then we use our sun and just... We're not in trouble anymore. She's times seven boosted. Times eight now. All at the same time. Wow. Up to 3.3 mil. Times nine. Holy moly. You just put all of those attack speed buffs on a tower that's as strong as Adora. That is absolutely crazy. We're around 109 with a hero. That's her 10 times attack speed. Pump out her spaghetti abilities. Look at that. These are DDTs, by the way. Around 110. We've got another $220,000 that we could spend. What else could we build? What else have we got? Ice Tower. He's already in there. Glue Gunner, Sub, Alchemist. We have our engineer, we have our villagers. I guess we just see how far we can get. What I'll do is I will pause the video. I'll play with macro. I'll see as far as we can get and I'll see you guys in a couple seconds once Matt puts in a dope transition. Alrighty guys, well, we got a Dora. 12 million, almost 13 million pops. Now, the cool thing is she got 12.7 mil out of 13.3 mil. Let's have a look at the map. Not much different from when you guys left. Just the Dora spamming our abilities, getting that times 11 bonus attack speed. It was absolutely mental, insane. 
There it is, 131. Hopefully, it says 14 mil. I guess so. It's 14 mil when uh, we failed. So when we failed, we all. That's crazy. Just with a hero. Thanks for watching. It's Lev out. I'll see you in the next one.